Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my reading channel. And as you can see from the title of today's video, I am going to be setting up my brand new library. I don't update this channel very much, but if you do update me on my main channel, then you know that I recently just moved into a new house and I finally have a designated room for my office slash library nook. Um, I'm gonna show you it a little better in detail in a second, but I'm very, very excited to have my own designated library. Like you guys know, I love reading. I love books. I love collecting books. I've been reading a lot more digitally than I do have physical, but I literally just love displaying my books and I've always dreamed of having my own little library and I'm just, I'm so excited. So let me give you a rundown of what the room looks like at the moment. Keep in mind, I am still moving in. I have so many boxes everywhere still because I moved in a couple days before Christmas and then the holidays came around and then I got COVID. So this has been the first time since moving into the house that I've actually felt well enough to actually unpack all of my boxes. So my whole house is still like a mess. This is the first step to make it look a lot better. <laughs> all right, so here is the door to the room. As you can see, <laughs> yeah, it's um, a little messy. I got a brand new desk that's gonna go in here and that's gonna be on my main channel. I'm not gonna focus on this side of the room for this video. I'm only going to be focusing on the books in this video. So yeah, here's my desk for right now. All of my linens and stuff are gonna go in this closet because I don't have a linen closet in the house. And since I don't really have a need to put much in this closet, I figured I would just use it as my linen closet because my bathroom's like right in that hallway. And then here is the reading corner. So it looks all like smushed right now because everything is just kind of everywhere. But this, these are the two bookshelves that I have right now. These are the Billy bookshelves from Ikea. I have been waiting for the white Billy bookshelves to come back in stock from Ikea for like a year now. And I gave up on trying. So I ordered two black bookshelves from Amazon. They're a little bit shorter. I believe they're like nine inches shorter than the Billy ones, but I've been wanting black shelves instead. And I also like the white shelves, so I figured I would go for like a black and white look in here. I've never really seen anybody do black and white bookshelves, so we're gonna see if it looks okay. I hope it does. So my plans for this room is to do like black, white, black, white. And then I also have black and white bookshelves here that are gonna go along the wall. All of these boxes and stuff are gonna move, but my plans are to have like a little reading chair somewhere around in here, have a rug with a little coffee table in the middle and just have like a little reading nook. So hopefully it'll work out that way. There's a lot of really good lighting in this room. I have three windows. So this is also going to be my filming room as well. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to first organize the bookshelves with how I want them to go against the wall. So I need to move all of this stuff to where it needs to go. And then I am going to move the bookshelves to where I want them. And then I need to build these two bookshelves right here. These are the two black bookshelves from Amazon that I bought. These are the closest ones I could find to the size of a Billy bookcase, but it's still a lot smaller than the Billy ones. So it's gonna be a little mismatched. I don't know how it's going to make me feel because I'm pretty like paranoid. I, I don't know if that's the right word, like anal about everything being like even. So hopefully it doesn't bother me too bad, but we're gonna see how it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all of this first and then we're gonna get started. All of my boxes of books are still in the garage. There's like 15 boxes of books in my garage. So my boyfriend's gonna have to help me carry all of these up here because I can't carry all of them because they're so heavy.
guys, I literally look insane right now. My hair is crazy. But it has been a couple of days since I started setting up these bookshelves. And I'm still not finished yet with all of the bookshelves. I still have to put my video games and my K-pop stuff over there. And I wanted to show you guys the books that I bought yesterday. I had a Barnes & Noble gift card that I got for Christmas. And I was finally able to go out since getting COVID. And be able to go to the bookstore and actually shop. So with my gift card, I got three books. I wanted to go ahead and show you them so I can go ahead and put them on the shelves. So the first book I got is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Meniscalso. I don't know if that's how you say the last name. I wanted this in hardcover because I think the, I like hardcovers better, but they didn't have the hardcover in stock and it's only $10 for a paperback. So I figured I would just go ahead and get it in paperback. And if I really, really love the book, like a lot of people keep telling me that I will, that I may get the hardcover, but I found this signed copy of Lore by Alexandra Bracken. So I heard this is about like Greek mythology and I do love Greek mythology. I haven't really read a lot of Greek mythology books in a long time, like since Percy Jackson time. And I wanna start reading more mythology books. And somehow I found a signed edition. It wasn't even with the signed books. It was just literally like stuck inside all of the other books in the young adult section and it was just signed and I figured I would just go ahead and pick it up because I've always loved the cover of this book. I think it is absolutely stunning and I've heard amazing things about it. It was $19. $19 for a signed edition, not bad at all. And then lastly, this was the most expensive one, but I got The Witcher, The Last Wish, the illustrated edition. This book was $40. So I want to get the whole book series of The Witcher because I recently watched the first two seasons on Netflix, like the show they came out with, and it's like my new personality trait. I became seriously obsessed with the show. I'm already re-watching it right now because I loved it so much and I'm actually currently reading this book on my Kindle. I'm almost done with it and I figured for collection purposes and since I actually do like the book I would go ahead and spend the 40 on it. I normally would not spend $40 on a book especially a small paperback. I mean look how skinny it is but there are pictures. It's the illustrated edition right here on the cover. It says people like to invent monsters and monstrosities then they seem less monstrous themselves. Literally so pretty. So I needed it, okay? I needed to buy it. So I spent, I think with tax, like $75 on all of these books, which is not bad. I was debating between this one and, and also another edition of Dracula that I found that had bats on the end pages and it was like a velvet, like suede material. And that was $40 as well, but I could not justify spending $80 on two books. Like, I don't know. I couldn't do it. So if that Dracula book is there next time I go, maybe I'll do it because I can't stop thinking about that edition of Dracula. So yeah, let me show you what the room looks like at the moment. And then tomorrow, once the sun is back out, it's like one in the morning right now. So the lighting is absolutely horrible. And I look, I've been sleeping literally all day. Not gonna lie. Okay, so here is what it looks like standing at the door. It is so messy because I was just unpacking all of the boxes in my garage and just putting them in here. So I have not put anything on these two shelves yet. These are going to be my video games and K-pop stuff. It's going to be here and then I'm going to put video game and K-pop stuff on the walls over here. So just have like video game items and that box is full of K-pop albums and there's K-pop albums here and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go over in debt at the end where everything is placed, but I'm planning on getting a chair to put here and a big rug to put here. I went to Walmart yesterday to try to see if I could find a rug that I liked, but I just couldn't quite find one that I really like yet. I'm still debating on what colors I want to do because um, a lot of my gaming stuff is pink. So I kind of wanted to have at least one room that had some pink accents in it. So I thought maybe a rug and a chair that had some pink in it would be nice but I don't really know because I also really really like the dark aesthetic but the chair would be up against the white shelves so I figured a lighter aesthetic would be fine so I don't really know yet I've been searching through Amazon to see what I like the most I did find a black rug that had pink roses on it which I think will look really nice because it'll be both black and pink which is what I love the most is black and pink together so I may get that don't know yet 
Um, and then I also bought some lights to go on the, all the bookshelves as well. And I still need to buy command strips to be able to hang some art on the walls. But that's the progress we're at now. These black shelves are definitely my favorite because these are all my paranormal romance, horror, and thriller books. A sucker for paranormal romance. But like I said, I'll go into more detail at the end of the video. I guess it'll still kind of be like a bookshelf tour as well, but if you guys want me to do like a separate bookshelf tour where I go into more detail of my books, then let me know. But I'm going to continue finishing this tomorrow. so it's been a while since I last filmed an update for this room. That's because I have not had the mental capacity to finish this room, but I finished most of it. Well, I finished the book area. I was hoping that I'd be able to afford to get a cute little pink chair to go in the corner over here, but unfortunately I cannot afford a pink chair right now, so in the next couple of months maybe I'll be able to afford it and I will get a little pink chair to go in here or a bean bag or something cozy that I can use to lounge in here and read. That's not my gaming chair because that chair is not very comfortable. So I would really like to have something comfy in here, whether it be a bean bag, a saucer chair, maybe a saucer chair because those are a bit comfy. So we'll see. But I finished all of this. Um, so I'm going to show you um, a little tour. Uh, just keep in mind, um, this is the way I like to decorate. I really like things that are very mismatched and don't look like they go together. I love that style. Um, I have a bunch of different like aesthetics and styles that I really like. I like dark and spooky and I really like boho and I also like vintage. There's so many different styles that I like that I have a really hard time sticking with one style. So this is my style. It's just kind of a little bit of everything. I'm really happy with the way it came out, um, especially the rug. I absolutely love the rug and I hope you guys like it too. So let's go ahead and just go over what I did and I'll kind of show you what everything looks like. All right guys, here is what it looks like from standing over here at my desk. I think it looks really cute and put together. You know, some people, this wouldn't be their style necessarily and that's completely okay, but I really like the way that it looks. I got this rug from Amazon. I'll try to remember to put the link for it down below. It was pretty reasonably priced and I also bought some rug stickers to stick it to the floor because I was having a hard time closing the door. I bought one that was a little bit too big, but that's okay. I think it still looks really nice. Starting over here, I have this print from Redbubble. I'll put a link for the artist down below. It's some ghost and some cherry blossom trees. Sorry about the glare. As you can see, I have windows behind me. Have a cute little fake plant from Five Below. I have some of my spooky stuff over here that I usually use for Halloween but it's Halloween all year round here and I love it. This bookshelf is like my mass market paperbacks of mainly Stephen King and V.C. Andrews. Um, I'm probably gonna start donating the V.C. Andrews books just because I want to read those digitally, but I do still have some left over. Then we have my black bookshelves. I love these. I'll put a link for them down below. They're not as big as the Ikea bookshelves as you can see and they're not as wide, but they definitely fit a lot of books and they don't bend either, which is really great. They're definitely not better than Ikea bookshelves at all. Um, I don't think I'll ever find one that's as good as Ikea for the price that it is, but if you're looking for something and you don't have an Ikea near you, these are on Amazon. So up here, I just have like a fake plant hanging down 
with a salt lamp. I keep my salt lamp all the way up there because they're toxic to cats and I don't want my cats to lick it. Cute little LED lights, my Marauders map, and then I put like my paranormal romance books on my black shelves and then I went to horror books and then like thriller books down here. Mainly all of these books right here are like all time faves like Stephen King and then the thrillers and horrors are more on that shelf down there. Then over here we have my White Billy bookcases from Ikea. I absolutely love them and I wish I had a car big enough to go to Ikea and get some more but unfortunately I don't so I put another fake planet there. I have some boxes for like my Monster High doll, my Death Note figure. Um, I had that little Harry Potter pillow that my grandma gave me for Christmas a couple years ago and then also the Oogie Boogie Build-A-Bear my sister got me. So up here is fantasy books and I think there's like one sci-fi but fantasy, Harry Potter, these are pretty fantasy as well. For someone who doesn't like to read fantasy books, I sure do have a lot of fantasy books. These are like mermaid, fairy books right here. Then these are all just kind of like a little bit of everything. Then I have some mythology, another fantasy, and some classics down there. Sorry, my camera tries to focus on my hand. And down at the bottom, I have some like drawing books and like learning Korean books. Down here is where I keep my oracle tarot cards and my witchcraft books. And then this is my like colorful shelf with my contemporary and contemporary romance books on it. Literally, I'm so obsessed with all the colors. I think it looks so pretty. Up here, of course, we've got some romance books more romance books with some contemporary. Then we have my manga. So we have like Fruits Basket, Blue Flag, Dream and Sun, Orange, Sailor Moon. And then we have my horror manga. So we have some Death Note, some Junji Ito, Drifting Classroom, Vampire Night, some of that stuff. And then down here I have graphic novels. I don't have tons of graphic novels. I want to read this because I actually read some of the webtoon for this and I want to read it physically. So we got Lore Olympus, Heartstopper, and then we have like some Studio Ghibli. We have Totoro, and then I have like this little kit that I got from I think my boyfriend, and I built it. It has like a little Totoro inside, and then some Kiki's Delivery Service <laughs> Uno cards. Then over here I got this little table for five dollars at Five Below, and I got this at the at home store. That plant. It's supposed to be a hanging plant, but I like the way it looked right there. That photo is from Five Below. And then I have some photos that I just had that I really liked. They don't necessarily go together very well. I got these two at a used bookstore the other day. Got that at Five Below. That at Five Below. And then I got that at Books A Million a couple years ago. Like I said, it doesn't all match, but I think it's cute. I like the way it fills up the space and I really like this. Then we come over here. It's a little bit more <laughs> chaotic over here, but I hung up my YouTube play button. Sorry, it's backlit right now, but I wanted to be able to walk into the room and see the YouTube play button. Keep my Kindle charged up here, my dolls. Keep my older books over here, like my Nancy Drew and then some childhood books down there. And then just kind of some random stuff. I don't really have much to put in these bookshelves yet, but once I do, I'll add them to them. And then over here is not necessarily book related, but these are my K-pop and video game section. So all of my K-pop albums and K-pop stuff is on these shelves here, so we have some Monster X, In Fact, BTS, NCT, TXT, Ace. There's more, but I can't remember all that is down there. So got my little jewelry case up here that my little sister got me for Christmas. So I just keep all of my earrings and some of my necklaces in here. My little CD player, which I use to listen to my K-pop albums. Another CD player, which is from like the early 2000s that I also use, which also has pretty amazing speakers. I'm not gonna lie, like this thing's old, but it works amazing. So I keep it there for nostalgia and just because I love it. Some flowers I got for Valentine's Day. I charge my watch here and then my video games. So I have my 3DS games, Nintendo Switch, my Animal Crossing collection, GameCube, some game guides and stuff down there and all that fun stuff. And then we get to the mess over here which you guys just can't see behind the camera. I don't know where to put all that yet. I need to get like a storage organizer for this room. So all that's gonna go in there cause it's like cords and like extra stuff for like bills and taxes. And there's so much random stuff over there that I have to figure out where to put it. Cause that closet's already full of stuff. So, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little like setting up slash tour of my new library room slash office. I am so happy with it. 
Um, I still haven't put the lights on the bookshelves yet, but I do have them downstairs. So I'll post a picture on like my Instagram of what the shelves look like at night once I put lights on them, but I don't have the mental capacity to put the lights on them right now because that takes literally forever. And I don't know why Dobby does this when I'm filming. She gets like all up in my face. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for supporting me. Um, I know I don't upload um, like so much on this channel, but I have a lot of video ideas for this channel that I'm planning on doing, so stay tuned. I'm still doing that Kindle video in the future um, where I give away a Kindle, so stay tuned for that. If you guys are interested in joining a buddy read, I do have a buddy read over on my Patreon. And over on my Patreon, you get early access videos, exclusive videos, live streams, a lot of fun stuff is over there. And the buddy read book for the month of February is Bunny by Mona Awad. I think that's how you say her name. I know the month is almost over. I haven't decided the book for next month yet, but if you would like to join next month's buddy read, we have a little discord. We discuss the book. Um, you get a video of like spoiler filled reactions to the book and everything. So if that's something you're interested, I will have that Patreon down below, but I also have my social medias down below as well. If you guys would like to stay updated with future content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.